Well, let's see. The license on this is Creative Commons. Copy and redistribute in any medium. Remix, transform, build upon for any purpose. Well, thank you for that open license. This so I can listen to this while doing other stuff. Okay, so this is the Mind Test modding book by Ruben Wardy. Um, read the contribution, read me maybe later. Welcome, Mind Test uses Lua scripts to provide modding support. The online book aims to teach you how to create your own mods, starting from the basics. What you need, a code editor, talked about in the Lua scripts chapter. A copy of Mind Test in the 0.4 series, e.g. 0.4.13. They're on 0.5 now. The ability to work independently without pestering other developers to write your code for you. Motivation to keep trying when things go wrong. So go on then. Start reading. Use the navigation bar on the left or on the top on mobiles to open a chapter. GitHub, download for offline use, forum topic. About this book. Noticed a mistake or want to give feedback? Tell us about it using one of these methods. GitHub, forum, send me a PM on the forum, submit a report below. You can contribute, and this is Ruben Wardy stuff. You can contribute to this product on uh, project on GitHub. Okay, folder structure. In this chapter, we will learn the basic structure of a mods folder. This is an essential skill when creating mods. Mod folders, dependencies, mod packs. Mod folders. So let's see. Mods my mod mods here text mod location mind test slash mods textures depends dot text init dot lua in the mod folder each mod has its own folder where all its lua code textures models and sounds are placed these folders need to be placed in a mod location such as mind test forward slash mods. Mods can be grouped into mod packs, which are explained below. A mod name is used to refer to a mod. Each mod should have a unique mod name, which you can choose. A good mod name should describe what the mod does. Mod names can be made up of letters, numbers, or underscores. The folder a mod is in needs to be called the same as the mod name. Mod folder structure, mod name, e.g. my mod. The init.lua, the main scripting code file, which is run when the game loads. Optional depends.txt, a list of mod names that needs to be loaded before this mod. Optional, textures forward slash. Place images here, commonly in the format mod name underscore item name dot png. Optional, sounds forward slash. Place sounds in here. Models forward slash. Place 3D models in here. And any other Lua files to be included by init.lua. Only the init.lua file is required in a mod for it to run on game load. However, the other items are needed by some mods to perform their functionality. Dependencies. The depends text file allows you to specify which mods this mod requires to run and what needs to be loaded before this mod. Depends.txt Mod 1, Mod 2, Mod 3 question mark. 
As you can see, each mod name is on its own line. Mod names with a question mark following them are optional dependencies. If an optional dependency is installed, it is loaded before the mod. However, if the dependency is not installed, the mod still loads. This is in contrast to normal dependencies, which will cause the current mod not to work if the dependency is not installed. Mod Packs Mod Packs allow multiple mods to be packaged together and be moved together. They are useful if you want to supply multiple mods to a player, but don't want to make them download each one individually. Mod Pack Folder Structure Mod Pack Folder forward slash Then Mod 1 forward slash Mod 2 forward slash Mod 3 forward slash Mod 4 forward slash Mod Pack dot txt signals that this is a mod pack content does not matter example time are you confused don't worry here is an example putting all of this together mod folder my mod forward slash okay and there is textures forward slash and that is my mod underscore node dot png. Also in the my mod forward slash is init dot lua. Also in the my mod forward slash is depends dot txt. Depends dot txt default d e f a u l t. The init dot lua print open parentheses quote. This file will be run at load time, exclamation point, close quotes, close parentheses. Mindtest.register underscore node, open parentheses, quote, my mod colon node, unquote, comma, space, open brackets. Description space equals space, quote, this is a node, unquote, comma, tiles space equals space, open brackets, mymodnode.png, comma, and then in quotes, mymod, mymod underscore node.png, close quotes, comma, and you can do a whole list of those, close brackets, comma, groups, space, equals, space, brackets, cracky, space, equals, space, one, close brackets, and then the a bracket and a close parentheses. So that's this open parentheses and the bracket up here, and that closes parentheses. Our mod has a name of my mod. It is two text files, init.lua and depends.txt. The script prints a message and then registers a node, which will be explained in the next chapter. The depends text file adds a dependency to the default mod, which is in mindtest underscore game. There is also a texture in textures for the node.